Hi, my name is Alessandro Gandros and that's a video tutorial coming from cgcookie.com for Max Cookie. This time we'll see uh, a feature that usually maybe uh, is not used in, tra in 3ds Max but that can help to speed up the workflow when we are working with transformation for the objects. So I mean the scaling and the movement and rotation. I mean you know that you can do everything there with the move the rotate and the scale, or you can press the right mouse button, for example, there to have the uh, the rotation and there to have the uh, transformation uh, for the scaling, uh, rotation, and movement. But there is another uh, feature, uh, and you can find it there in the edit menu, and they're talking about the transform toolbox. You see that we have this new. Um, uh, toolbox there with more feature and uh, you see that we have something related to the rotation, the sides and the alignment for the pivot and the, the cloning and other other stuffs. Uh, the first thing is really uh, a really fast and simple way to rotate objects. You see that we can for example choose uh, a rotation angle uh, for example let's say 90 degree and we can say rotate and you see that the object is automatically rotated same thing can be done in the other uh, direction and the, uh, the really simple thing is that you have everything there inside just one uh, box one user interface and you have not to move in the other one and for example you have, if I have a precise uh, rotation as um, 12.3 and you see, for example, with these parameters, you see that we can do a really precise rotation just using this toolbox. Then we have the sides, and the sides, you see, is we, uh, we have the uh, reset X form, if we have to reset this one, and we have not to go in the other uh, menu there. And uh, we have the possibility to scale the mesh, so you see, we have the get sides of objects, so we can get the sides, and it means that that's the sides over the three axes. Then we have the possibility to set, for example, uh, let's see, the, the get sides we can set to 60 over every single axis, so we can set 60, whole, set sides. And you see that now, if we see the uh, get, we have the dimension for all every single axis in the same way. Then we can do the same thing just over one axis. So let's see, we have z32 over this axis, and we can say z60, and you see that the dimension is changed just over uh, this axis, and uh, we can go back. Okay. And you see that uh, we have the current sides that can be put over the uh, the number there. For example, let's pick the Y or the X. So you see it is picking the parameters from the dimension of the objects. And that's really useful too. Then we have the alignment for the pivot. You see that we can align the pivot to the minimum. We can center it. We can set to the minimum over the x-axis, y-axis, or z-axis. We have also the center over the z, the y, and the x, or we can do with a max or with the origin. So you see we can set the, uh, the pivot in a really fast way. So for example, if we pick these objects and we want to have the uh, pivot to the origin, we set to origin and we have it set in the right way. So it's a really another fast way to have some tools as the um, alignment for people just over the same toolbox. Last part you see it's uh, the, uh, the center and the quick, uh, quick clone. Uh, the center you see say uh, move objects to center of the world. So that means if I set to center the object is directly moved to the center of our world. And the same thing can be done, for example, with this one. If we say center, you see that it goes to the uh, origin. So 0, 0, 0 coordinates for our scene. Let's go back. And then we have uh, the other two.
and I'm talking about the key clone. You see the key clone clone an object and move to the side of a regional based on the view. That means that if I do the key clone, you see that it's on the uh, side there. If I move in this way, key clone, you see is on the right on the other axis. And let's see, for example, there we can reuse the quick clone and you see that it is copying over the original key clone and that's top because we are uh, checking the top of the mesh and then key clone is on the right because the uh, the rotation of the visualization is on the right so that's uh, why uh, how it can be used and it's really fast to create stack of objects because you see we can copy it directly just using this one and rotating the uh, the, the camera. So uh, that's another uh, really simple uh, tool but uh, I really like it because we can have all the stuff we need on a single uh, environment and a single user interface and that's really really useful. So I think that for the moment that's all and I hope to see you back on Max Cookie to check for new tutorial coming from cgcookie.com. Bye.